I'm trying out the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour long wear makeup for combination and oily skin. It's supposed to be matte, full coverage, long wearing, and again, we gonna make it work, okay? But it's looking shiny. So Revlon has given us a new foundation and I think that this has been around for a few months, but this is my first time trying it out. I'm trying out the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour long wear makeup for combination and oily skin. Forgive the way my mouth is moving. I've already done my lip primer, so my lips are sticking together. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. My face is still on the poofy side. I need to wake up and my lymphatic system needs to drain, but I digress. I'm gonna try this on and do the longest wear test possible to see how this looks after a full day. I'm not gonna do 24 hours, but we are gonna see. This is the color Java. I can certainly use a lighter color. I tried to do this video yesterday and it just didn't work out. <laughs> so I know what the shade looks like on me, but we're gonna make it work because you know how I do. Okay. So I'm taking the Morphe E63 brush. I like this Makeup Shayla collab with Morphe. I like the angle of it. You know, it just works. And I've got two pumps of the product on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take some and apply. Now, what I remember from yesterday is that this is thick and creamy. It's supposed to be matte, full coverage, long wearing, and I don't recall it being matte. This is yesterday, right? I didn't finish the full look. I just had on the foundation and then I just washed off my face. So we're gonna see how this all plays out today. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, then you already know that the way that the foundation or most of the makeup products will wear depend on your environment and what exactly you are doing. So if it's cold outside, but you're jogging outside, your makeup will perform differently than if it's hot outside and you're sitting outside at a cookout. You feel what I'm saying? So many times the claims of of the product may or may not actually come to be. It really is based on what you're doing. So because of that, it's really hard to say when something is good or bad. It just depends on exactly what you're doing and where you are, where do you live? What time of year are you actually wearing that product? Now, obviously you can see that this shade, like I said, is dark for me. I ordered espresso actually with Walmart grocery delivery. So it'll be here, but it'll be here later and we're filming now. So this is what I have. And again, we gonna make it work. Okay. So yeah, the environment you're in makes a huge difference in how your makeup will play. I'm going to put a little bit over my eyelids, but not a lot because I am going to be doing eyeshadow. It's just really to bring the color together, neutralize out my eyebrows. I do have microblading, but I like to cover it because when I do my makeup, I like for my makeup brows to look different. That's just what I like to do. So, so far, this is looking natural in the sense that it's looking hydrated, dewy. It is oil free, but it's looking shiny. I mean, look at it and you tell me it's looking shiny to me, but uh, I don't know how it'll dry down. I didn't have it on for too long yesterday, but even then it didn't dry. So it's not giving me Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that right away is like, dry. It's not giving me NARS soft matte either because that right away is dry. This is giving me comfortable. I don't know. If you've tried this, let me know what shade you used, how you like it. Let me know because even at Walmart, I didn't see a ton of shades. Even at Target, I didn't see a ton of shades, but I looked at Revlon's site itself and I saw a bunch, but I looked really quickly. I grabbed an espresso to be delivered to me from Walmart. So at least Walmart had that. Okay. So here's a close up on the skin. I did shave my face the other day. So if you're seeing intense smoothness, you know, we got to give props to that. The face shave is important. And I shave my face once a month. It's just something that I do. It makes a huge difference in how the makeup wears. Right now, I did not put any more product on my brush. I mean, I wiped off what was on my hand and I'm just now blending to make sure that the product is just everywhere that it needs to be. Okay. So when it comes to my chest, this shade is darker. If you've been here for a while, then you know that I tend to enjoy a darker shade of foundation because when the full face comes together, it just looks bomb. So I'm gonna finish my face and let's do the wear test.
Okay, so the full face is done as you can see. I'd like to think that the whole thing came together. We are gonna do a weird test, so I'll check in with you in a little bit. All right, it's now 1.08 in the afternoon and I have not blotted my face yet, although I do wanna do it and I'm going to do it right now because around my nose is oily. Naturally, this happens all the time anyway. I'm not getting the matte finish from this foundation, but I do like it, I have to say. So let's check in a little later. All right, last check-in of the day. It is currently 8.34 p.m. I've had this makeup on for, what, 15 hours? And I think that it wore beautifully. I blotted my face twice. I think my makeup looks great still. I could certainly go for another blot. This is not giving me matte. It's giving me natural coverage, and I'm okay with that. But I think that this makeup still looks good, and I enjoy it. So I'll see what that other shade looks like because my Walmart delivery package finally came in and I ordered espresso which is a step down from Java so I think it's 610 or 600 but yeah I like how this came out comment let me know what you think about this foundation and I will see you in my next video bye